All right, so many times people ask the question, how do I work the washing machine in my RV? It is confusing. And so what I wanted to do is kind of walk you through how to use the Splendid washers. It's really simple once you understand. There's three dials, you have to understand what they do. And so in this episode of RV Pastor Kevin, I'm gonna show you how to do laundry. All right, first off, first off, you're gonna put clothes in there, okay? You're gonna put clothes in there, not gonna fill it up so much, maybe about halfway up, maybe a little less. The more clothes, just remember, this is a 110 dryer, not a 240, so you can't dry clothes like at your house. So we got clothes in there, we close the door. These switches here, N is on, N is medium speed, and in is half heat. Out is off, high spin, and high heat. So you can see I've got it turned on, and I've got it on high spin and high heat for the dryer. We move over here. This is your normal uh, for, your, for your water temperature, so hot, warm, hot, cold. We just have this set on cold, cold. That way nothing bleeds. This is your dryer timer. So I'm gonna turn this to about 60. And what I want you to know is that this is the washer control. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the washer control on regular wash, and now it's gonna start putting water in. So it's running now. What's gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the timer for the dryer, and as soon as it gets done washing and it gets to off, then it'll kick on the dryer, and the dryer timer will start going until it's done. And that it's that simple. Um, it is a 110 dryer, so it's not gonna it's not gonna dry your clothes as well as the dryer at the house. The other mystery part about this thing is down here in the corner, and it's this panel, and this is the drain filter. So every four or five washes, you need to open this up and unscrew the filter. Now I have a towel here because there will be water that will lint. It's not like a lint uh, a lint catch in your dryer at home. Um, there will be water in it. Uh, but you'll take that out, you'll clean it, you'll put it back in, close it up, it's all good. Filter. So what we're gonna do is open that up, and then you can see the filter right here, and we will undo the filter, and usually there's a lot of water here. So we're, we're tilted right now uh, in the driveway, so I hope we don't have a flood. But you can see that this filter comes out. So you can see the filter here, you can see a little bit of lint on it. So we're gonna, that gets cleaned off, and then this goes, right back in, you screw that in, close that up, and that's all you gotta do to clean that filter. But honestly, that's as simple as it is. And so people just get lost in these three dials here, but it's real simple. You set the wash that you wanna do as soon as it gets done to off. When this switch is off, the dryer will turn on. So if you just wanna dry a load, you can turn this to off and then set the timer, and off it'll go. So that's how you work these Splendid washers, super simple. In here is where you put the detergent and you don't put a whole lot in there. It's just a little bit, like where the one is, go half of that. And then your clothes are washed. And it's really cool because you said at one time it washes and then it dries and then you take it out. You don't have to move it from a washer to a dryer. So we've been real pleased with ours. And that's it. It's as simple as that. It's an easy washer and dryer. It's handy because you only put clothes in once and then it washes it and dries it. You don't have to take them out and move them. Um, it is a 110, so it doesn't dry as good as what your, uh, what your dryer is at home. But hopefully this helps you uh, be able to wash and dry your clothes while you're on the road. So get out there, RV, wash your clothes, be clean, make it to church on Sunday.